planners and bullet journals, art journals, art projects, organized planner sheet. Well, hello everyone, and welcome to Organized Planner Sheet. I know you guys are used to seeing a totally different background in my videos, but that is because we're gonna do some painting today. And what I'm gonna do is have you guys make with me a new type of traveler's notebook that I am now selling in my Lucinda Dory Planners Etsy shop. And it is using recycled materials. So I just made one the other day and posted it on Instagram. And the same day that I posted it, someone bought it, which was awesome. But I don't have it to show you, so I'm going to insert some pictures right now. And what we're going to do is I'm going to show you kind of some different, you know, things that you can use if you ever want to make these. So this, the one that you guys just saw in the pictures was made out of a washing soda box, which is kind of like a baking soda box, but um, it's, it's Arm & Hammer sells it. And so I always have boxes like that. And I just decided to experiment. So um, now I, this box is almost the same size, but I decided to make some different sizes today. So the one that you saw in the pictures is a large Kahir size. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's C-A-H-I-E-R. And I'll put all those, um, the size in centimeters and inches and all that in the description below. This one is a personal size that I cut down. Okay, and I just have some templates that I made to be the official sizes. So this one, so it's gonna be a book dory. You can see that, there's the side. And there's a, you can see the opening and it'll have four elastics like the other one. So that one and then this, these two, so that used to have baking soda. And these two used to have, uh, were these like, you know, granola bars. So this is a passport size, and this is just another one, okay? And I just save all these and cut them down. So I'm gonna actually try to make three today while we're filming this, and here's the inside of them. And we're just gonna first paint the inside of each one and let them dry, just a solid color, because I'm gonna have different colors all inside of here, but I want to have a base that I can just paint over and not have necessarily this kind of you know tan box color in the background so what I like to use when I paint to put all my different paints in is a an egg carton now I'm vegan I don't eat eggs but my husband and my daughter do and so I always have these <laughs> and I like that they're recyclable you know they're just made out of some kind of cardboard material so I'm just gonna take a few sort of neutral colors to make my base out of, so let's see, or actually don't necessarily have to be neutral, but just a solid color. Um, I'm gonna do, I'm trying to get that together right now, you guys, digging through my stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of white acrylic paint. I'm gonna do three different ones, so I'm gonna have, I wanna have three different backgrounds. Okay, that's probably enough. And I think I want to make, do I want to make one black? I don't know. I'm trying to decide. I definitely want to do, I think, a blue, dark blue. So, and I'm going to put it, space it out a little bit so that if I splash any paint, I won't mix it accidentally. Okay. And then I think, oh, I don't know why I'm steering away from a black background on the inside of this one. So I'm gonna make one this brown. Okay, here we go. All right, and this is just inexpensive acrylic paint. And this one is Deco Art from Walmart. And the other two I believe were from Hobby Lobby. American Crafts, is it American Crafts? No, Craft Paint, Anita's Acrylic Craft Paint. Was, oh, I didn't even use this color. Oh, this is such a pretty, pretty great color. Um, let's see, that blue one is Craft Smart. I'm pretty sure that came from, uh, oh, this came from Michael's, I remember that, in a set. And uh, this white one is, yeah, Anita's, okay? Really inexpensive. Now, I have really beat 
up my brushes. <laughs> so I'm going to do a video about kind of redoing or repairing these. But this is what I'm going to use to paint. And you know what I forgot to do, you guys? I forgot to bring some water, did I? No, I didn't. Awesome, I don't have to get up right now. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start with this one. And we'll just make this one the white since it's kind of a lighter color it'll be easier to cover and I'm not worried about this being a perfect coverage I just want it to not look completely like a cardboard box that's all okay and what I have on the table here is just some old fabric I bought like at a garage sale years ago I mean probably 20 years ago um, and I don't even know what kind of fabric it is but it's a, a heavy fabric it's not canvas but it's, I don't know what you call it, and um, and I have a lot of it, and I just kind of fold it over, put it on the table. And you see I'm kind of holding this up because I'm going to be using the same space, and I don't want to have a lot of paint from the back side that spills over until at least I get this first coat on there so that I won't wind up getting it on the other pieces of cardboard that I'm going to have on here. Again, I'm not worried about it being perfect coverage, just some coverage so that, you know, I can have a neutral background that I actually like so that whenever I put the other colors, the other products that I'm going to put on here on there, they will show up as the colors that they actually are. I hope that makes sense. Okay. And then I'm going to just speed this up. Well, I finished do this and I may just go ahead and paint the rest of them off camera actually you guys are probably bored of watching me do the same <laughs> same strokes over and over so I'm going to finish this off camera and then I will be right back okay you guys I'm back and I did decide to go ahead and put two coats of paint on each one of these I don't know why it just seemed <laughs> just seemed right so I did so they all have two coats and now we're going to get ready to pick some water soluble pastels to do some artwork on them and this is just what I use to store mine in this used to be a can of nuts and oh it doesn't even look good on the back I won't show you and I just took some duct tape and kind of covered it and there's a little rag in there to keep these raised so I can see what's in there now some of them are um, they look dark on here you know they just look dark but then when you color them they're a totally different color so what I try to do is I'm going to use this paper and just tell myself what color it is that I think it is before I use it so on this one I want to do and I'm just gonna I'm afraid to tell you what I want to try to do because it may not turn out right but um, I know I want a, like a light blue kind of sky background in the back so I'm going to see now that color is nice but I think I want it to be a little bit hope you guys can see that let me move this, all of this out the way focus on what I'm trying to do right now okay so this is a nice color blue I think I might want it to be a little bit lighter but I don't know if I have a pastel that is I'm just pushing this up that is um, lighter let's see if I do a lighter blue take some out so I can look through it and see and come on come on come on I just I thought I had maybe I didn't have a lighter one I just had a some darker ones that might be the lightest blue oh no I do it's right here now let's see is that too light nope that is exactly what I want okay I'm just gonna push this up a little bit okay so that's a great way to figure out what colors you got and I'm going to try to get the rest of this out of the frame so that we won't be just oh just lost one so we won't be distracted about by all this other stuff going on okay so now I'm going to show you how these work which is really awesome um, you're gonna color get in the center of my frame I'm gonna color and then you can just use water and or your finger or brush I like to use my fingers I don't know they just tend to work like I want them to 
And um, so you don't have to fully cover all this because it's just gonna spread for you. So you do always use water, at least I do, and then, um, and then you can use whatever to kind of spread it. So I spray, and I have to be careful because sometimes I spray too much. So I'm just going to get a little bit, and then if I need more, then I can use it. So watch this. Isn't that awesome? I love this stuff. I love it. That's not enough water. So I'll put some more. I like how this turns out, you guys. I, li I like <laughs> that I'm like painting with my fingers. And I like the variation in color because this is actually going to be sort of a sky background, hopefully. If everything turns out the way that I want, which, you know, nothing ever turns out completely like you want, but just want it to be close enough. Oh, so relaxing and sort of billowing. See if you do a little bit of circle action and it dries fast. So sort of looks like some, a bit, a, well, no billowing cloud, more of a billowing sky. I think I have a white colored pastel too. And this uh, brand is just the, the Michaels, um, what is the Michaels brand? Loft. In. Okay, so there we go. All right, and that's gonna dry, but I don't have to wait for it to dry right now. So that's like my sky, and then I want some grass, but I want the grass to kind of look spiky. So I'm gonna use a green. Do I want light green grass and dark green stems for the flowers I'm gonna do? I think so. So let's see what colors these turn out to be. So that's a pretty dark green. Put that over to the side, but it's not dark, dark. So I do not want to use this green at all for what I'm doing. I may not have a light enough green. Let's see if I do in here. Yes, I do. Just look, Lucinda. <laughs> Just look and you may find what you're looking for. Okay, this is what I want. So, and you know what I need to do, which, you know, a smart person would do. Not that I'm not smart, I'm not <laughs> doubting myself. If I had been smart about it, we'll put it that way, I would have, I think I'll do a video about that. I'll have some samples, you know, uh, something that I keep that shows me what each color is. But the sad thing about that is there's no number on these. I guess I'd have to number, there's no name or number, so I don't, I don't know how I would know. <laughs> Maybe I can put a little sticker label. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, so that's the dark green. Let's move you out the way. So this is gonna be my grass that I want. So I think, now I've never done what I'm getting ready to try to do, but I think what I'm gonna do when I put the water in is just make sure that I do up, because I want the grass to kind of go this way. Make sure that I do like upward and to the right strokes with my finger and not circles so that it will look the way I want. All right, let's see if that's enough. Did I color it enough? I think I did, let's see. put too much water on it. Maybe that'll make it look like I want. Yeah, because I think I still want there to be that really good definition. Okay. Oh, you guys have got to do this if you've never worked with, but I think just about everybody probably has worked with pastels at some point in their lives, like in, um, art school, art class in school. You know, something like this. There's pastels and gelatos. 
Maybe not everyone has worked with oil pastels, which I have, but I haven't really used them much because I just love <laughs> these. Yes, we go. Here we go. Oh, that's a little too much water. It's looking not the way I want. Okay, that's better. A little bit of water here. And you guys, this will dry and it'll be perfect. Um, perfect, but it'll be perfectly smooth. It won't be that much texture because I don't want there to be that much texture on this because the end result is going to be covered with a plastic adhesive. And I want it to stay on really well. So now I think I'm going to kind of fill this in, well, a little bit color, just a little bit here. some water is that enough I think that's good yeah now we're gonna let that dry and we're gonna try to put some flowers <laughs> coming out of that going to the right we shall see how that turns out okay so that's that one now we have these let's put this over somewhere to dry <laughs> Maybe I wanted it to blend a little more or did I want it to stand out as separate stuff more I think I'm gonna leave it I think let's see how it looks when it's completely completely dry okay with the inside of this one as far as the artwork goes okay and now let's go ahead and we'll check and see if the other ones are dry and then we'll be finished with the inside and so we still have the outside to do okay let's get ready for that
This one is definitely more subtle. And I want it to have a little bit more life. So I'm gonna go back over this one once it's dry. Okay, all right, let's get it, let everything dry and then we'll come back and we'll see. All right. guys they are finished I'm so glad so I'm gonna show them to you uh, one at a time I'll go ahead and open the um, which one I'll do this one first um, this passport size one so there you can see the front and I just love how the adhesive how the uh, adhesive reacts to the art to the the paint and the pastels and all of that you just never know how it's going to and it is just awesome so there's the front of this one and here's the spine it's um, I don't know why it looks a little dark right now I hope the colors turning out okay um, and then here's the back of that one okay and then in the inside are the four elastics Okay, and you can see how the uh, plastic reacted to the art in there. Nice. Okay, and that can be the top or the bottom, like we had before, because you know there's no flower or anything like that that has to stand up a certain way. There, it looks like the lighting is a little better. Okay. All right, so that's that one. And then here is the bigger one, which is the personal size. So here's the front. Okay, and oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let me put that back. Right now, I'll open it up in a second. So here's the spine. Okay, and there's the back, which I really like this back a lot. Okay, and then and the inside, there we go. And there you go. All right, so there's that one. And now let's go to the last one, the last passport size. So there's the front, okay. And the spine. And the back. And here's the inside. And there you go. 
all right you guys well i hope you enjoyed today's video i know it was pretty long so thank you if you if you hung in there with me and uh, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I want to remind all my subscribers that you get an additional discount every month is available for my Lucinda Dory planners Etsy shop and that discount is in the comments below and these are up in the shop now for you guys and um, until next time everyone happy planning